Gaul Station was built in the 1930s and took the full force of the wave. Thankfully, it still stands today. The locomotives, carriages and track were not so fortunate. The poor state of maintenance, as shown here, suggests the line was in decline long before the tsunami arrived. Overcrowding, the lack of investment, coupled with the poor conditions, seemed an all too common occurrence on the Sri Lankan state railway system. The assortment of rolling stock used on this portion of the line dates back to the 1960s. Some are even older. The track appears never to have been ballasted, causing the trains to rock from side to side. What is your profession? This engine, once it has run round its carriages, will continue on the main line north to the state capital of Colombo. We will be travelling east on the branch line to Kogala. Rebuilding will take many years. The rail link may never be rebuilt as much of the line was originally built below sea level. Banks of mud were used to build the track up and keep the water out. On Boxing Day 2004 the mud could not hold back the enormous surge and nature took back a piece of its territory. We pass row upon row of these line side camps. Some are home to three generations of the same family. All of these shacks were totally destroyed within minutes of the wave hitting these shores.